Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update August 30th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 275. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Lu Han's Sisyphus and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, as always, we begin with some dramas that have recently premiered. Miss S is a Republican era drama starring Ma Yili and Vengo Gao, and it premiered on August 28th. It follows an elegant and mysterious detective played by Ma Yili and a detective superintendent played by Vengo Gao as they solve crime mysteries in 1930s Shanghai. The drama premiered on Tencent and no overdubbing, so we get to hear Maili and Vengo Gao's real voices, which is a huge plus for me. But I can't find any site that streams it with English subs at the moment, so I'll have to update on that later. Midsummer is Full of Love is a modern drama starring Yang Chaoyue and Timmy Xu, and it also premiered on August 28th. The drama is a remake of the 2004 Korean drama Full House starring Rain and Song Hee Kyo, which is considered to be a pioneer of Korean rom-coms. It helped propel the Korean wave and was a huge success not only in Korea but all over Asia. In Midsummer is Full of Love, Yang Chaoyue plays a strong-willed girl who dreams of becoming a successful songwriter despite being tone deaf. Through a series of comical events, an arrogant pop star played by Timmy Xu obtains the title to her house, but she fights to get it back. They make a deal to live together and even get into a fake marriage, but eventually, surprise surprise, they fall in love. The drama is available on WeTV with English subs. Sisyphus is an upcoming modern drama starring Wang Qianyuan and Lu Han, and they've officially announced a September 2nd premiere. It tells the story of a police officer played by Wang Qianyuan who pursues a suspected serial killer played by Lu Han and in the process dies together with him. When he wakes up, he finds himself in the past, reliving the same day of his death over again. I'm a huge fan of the movies Groundhog Day and Edge of Tomorrow, so this whole time loop concept isn't the newest to me but an intriguing one nonetheless. Sisyphus in Greek mythology was a cruel king who was punished by the gods to push a large rock up a steep hill only to find it constantly rolling back down, so he's doomed to pushing that rock for eternity. Having seen his previous dramas like Sweet Combat and Fighter of the Destiny, one might think that Lu Han has too much of an idol image to portray a serial killer. But they do call it acting for a reason, and this will be a great opportunity for him to showcase his acting range. He does look pretty creepy in the trailer, and he is in the company of Wang Qianyuan, who in my opinion is a great actor. Wang Qianyuan was terrific in movies like Saving Mr. Wu and Peace Breaker, where ironically he played awesome villains. Sisyphus is part of Aichi's Light On series, which includes already premiered dramas like Kidnapping Game and one of my dramas of the year so far, The Bad Kids. Sisyphus will premiere on Aichi, which means it'll likely be on IQ.com with English subs. My Heroic Husband is an upcoming costume drama starring Guo Qiling and Song Yi, and they recently released their first posters. They were released in conjunction with Chinese Valentine's Day. The two things that stood out to me were the cute lead couple and the rich colors. You guys might remember the two stars from Joy of Life where they played an adorable pair of siblings. In My Heroic Husband, they will play husband and wife. Adapted from a novel of the same name, the drama tells the story of a modern businessman who travels back in time and enters the body of the useless son-in-law of a rich merchant. It has comedy written all over it. The drama will also serve as a mini reunion for the cast of Joy of Life. Reportedly, Hai Yi Tian, Gao Shu Guang, Tian Yu, and Zhang Ruoyun will all make appearances. And sticking with costume dramas, here's Exquisite. Exquisite is an upcoming costume drama starring Angel Zhao and Justin Yuan. 
This is their latest production still, also released in conjunction with Chinese Valentine's Day. Exquisite is a direct translation of the Chinese title, Ling Long. At the moment, the drama doesn't have an official or working English title yet. Angel Zhao plays the titular Ling Long, a girl who possesses strong spiritual power of the gods, and Justin Yuan plays her macho father. Together, they help an immortal monarch, played by Ling Yi, save his continent from evil forces. Angel Zhao and Ling Yi's characters strike up an inevitable romance as they embark on their mission. Angel Zhao is only 17, but she already has a slew of titles on her resume. Justin Yuan starred in the recently aired Under the Sun, and Ling Yi starred in last year's hit youth drama Put Your Head on My Shoulder. Exquisite is rumored to premiere in September. I will give you guys updates as they provide them. And it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas and Actors at the Moment, Edition 34, August 30th, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. And we begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Youku, Aichiyi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, My Unicorn Girl. The modern drama stars Sabrina Chen and Darren Chen. Number 9, Reunion, The Sound of the Providence. The modern drama stars Zhu Yilong, Chen Minghao, and Huang Junjie. Number 8, God of Lost Fantasy. The costume drama stars Peter Sheng and Olivia Wang. Number 7, A Murderous Affair in Horizon Tower. The modern drama stars Yang Zishan and Guo Tao. Number 6, Dance of the Phoenix. The costume drama stars Yang Chaoyue and Xu Kaicheng. Number 5, Goodbye My Love. The modern drama stars Candy Song and Yu Tai. Number 4, In a Class of Her Own. The costume drama stars Ju Jingyi and Song Weilong. Number 3, Midsummer is Full of Love. The modern drama stars Timmy Xu and Yang Chaoyue. Number 2, Love Yourself. The modern drama stars Victoria Song and Carlina Zhang. And number 1, Love and Redemption. The costume drama stars Crystal Yuan and Cheng Yi. Love and Redemption makes it four weeks in a row as champion now. I expect it to stay on the list for a few more weeks as it is slated to run well into September. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Ridge of Taihang. The Revolution Era drama stars Yang Junbai and Shi Xin. Number 9, Small Town Police. The modern drama stars Zhang Guoqiang and Niu Siyao. Number 8, 20 Year Life On. The modern drama stars Guan Xiaotong and Bu Guanjing. Number 7, Heroes. The costume drama stars Vincent Zhao and Nikita Mao. Number 6, Under the Sun. The modern drama stars Justin Yuan and Candy Song. Number 5, Hunter. The Revolution Era drama stars Li Sibuo and Yu Zhen. Number 4, Nothing But 30. The modern drama stars Maggie Jiang, Tong Yao, and Rachel Mao. Number 3, Miss S. The Republican Era drama stars Mai Li and Van Gogh Gao. Number 2, Happiness Will Come Knocking Again. The modern drama stars Nie Yuan and Wu Jingyan. And number 1, Go Ahead. The modern drama stars Seven Tan, Sun Weilong, and Steven Zhang. Miss S debuts strong at number 3, but it is Go Ahead that remains in top spot. That makes it 3 weeks in a row for them now. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Wang Yibo. He stars in My Strange Friend with Zhang Yijie. Number 9, Steven Zhang. He stars in Go Ahead with Seven Tan and Song Weilong. Number 8, Xiao Zhan. He most recently finished filming The Oath of Love with Yang Zi. Number 7, Crystal Yuan. She stars in Love and Redemption with Cheng Yi. Number 6, Yang Chaoyue. She stars in Dance of the Phoenix with Xu Kaicheng. Number 5, Song Weilong. He stars in Go Ahead with Seven Tan and Steven Zhang. Number 4, Zhu Yilong. He stars in Reunion, The Sound of the Providence with Cheng Minghao and Huang Junjie. Number 3, Victoria Song. She stars in Love Yourself with Carlina Zhang. Number 2, Cheng Yi. He stars in Love and Redemption with Crystal Yuan. And number 1, Seven Tan. She stars in Go Ahead with Song Weilong and Steven Zhang. 
All three stars of Go Ahead make the list this week, with 710 sitting on top of the mountain. The two stars of Love and Redemption continue their strong run, and your regulars Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan continue their endless streak on the list. So there you go guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what drama's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions in one of my YouTube episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!